Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm going to do something a little different. Um, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh y'all on us with a lot of our black poets who was right for a time like this and stuff that I grew up on, stuff that I like to introduce to a younger generation and also refresh for those of us who haven't heard these works in a long time. Um, this was something that was put together by the late George um, and he's not here anymore uh, from the People's Theater. I used to be a member of uh, People's Theater. And so there's a lot of work from Paul Lawrence Dunbar that we did. Um, but this, this I just want to do a few poems, so a few by Maya Angelou and Langston Hughes. Madam and Her Madame, okay? This was by Langston Hughes. I worked for a woman. She wasn't mean. But she had a 12-room house to clean. I had to get breakfast, dinner, and supper too. Then take care of her children when I got through. Wash, iron, and scrub. Walk the dog around. It was just too much. It nearly broke me down. I said, Madam, can it be you trying to make a pack horse out of me? She opened her mouth. She cried, oh, no. You know, Alberta, I love you so. I said, madam, that might be true. But I'll be doggone if I love you. All right, as y'all know, that was by Langston Hughes. You know, I like Langston Hughes' poetry as well because it seems like his his uh, poetry had a little snap to it. Like he was always, to me, reading somebody for filth. <laughs> okay? All right, this is also by Langston Hughes, and it's called Madam and the Rent Man. The Rent Man knocked. He said, how did it do? I said, what? What can I do for you? He said, you know your rent is due. I said, listen, before I pay, I go to Hades and right away. The sink is broke, the water don't run, and you ain't done a thing you promised to have done. Back windows crack, kitchen for a squeeze. There's rats in the cellar and the attic leaks. He said, madam, it's not up to me. It's just the agent, don't you see? I said, naturally, you pass the buck. If it's money you want, you're just out of luck. He said, madam, I ain't pleased. I said, neither am I. So we agrees. <laughs> Okay, Ballad of a Girl Whose Name is Mud by Langston Hughes. A girl with all that raisin, it's hard to understand how she could get in trouble with such a no good man. The guy she gave all to dropped her with a thud. Now amongst the decent people, Dorothy's name is Mud. But nobody's seen her shed a tear, nor seen her hang her head. Ain't even heard her murmur, Lord, I wish that I was dead. Nope, the hussy's telling everybody, just as though it was no sin, that if she had her chance, that she'd do it over again. That's the ballad of a girl whose name is Mud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. 
Let's uh, can we do one more by Lacey Hughes? Because Lacey Hughes to me, I just you know, I, I like it, I like his mindset, you know, from both sides. But I tell you what, I'm sure I would be remiss, um, if I didn't do what y'all you can't even talk about poetry without even talking about Maya Angelou, right? So I just got to do my favorite one by her. But what about Ruby Bound? Uh, God. I don't know if uh, y'all want to get this one. Check this out. This one is by Langston Hughes again. It's Ruby Brown. She was young and beautiful and golden like the sunshine that warmed her body. And because she was colored, Mayville had no place to offer her nor fuel for the clean flame of joy that tried to burn within her soul. One day, sitting on old Mrs. Latham's back porch polishing the silver, she asked herself two questions. They ran something like this. What can a colored girl do on the money from a white woman's kitchen? What can she do on that? And ain't there any joy in this town? Now from the streets down by the river, more known about this pretty Ruby Brown and the sinister shuttered houses from the bottom hold a yellow girl seeking an answer to her questions. The good church folks don't even mention her name anymore. But the white men, habits of the high shuttered houses, Pray, pay more money to hear her now than they ever did before when she worked in their kitchens. Mm. I wonder why. Last but not least, our grandmother, who's going on to be with the ancestors now, just like Brother Langston Hughes, uh, this is for today. This is for a time like right now, like like a time like no other. I think, um, like I said, I think Maya, the great ancestor, encompasses this. One of my favorites. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may try me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. Bringing the gift that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of a slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. Thank you, Sister Maya, who has the same, I have the same birthday as her, April 4th. Thank you, O oh great ancestor, for that strong, powerful word. Still, I rise. See you in the next video.